Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the Father in person or channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin. Shout out to God, Mr. Saki Karyon, Yans TV, Michael Aborita, For Men's Work, Connie Vlog 24-7, Retro Vlog, Diane's Pakadalhin, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Heart Ponsalan, Loris Channel, Heart Brilieta, Yuba Coteco, Juan Anthony Balmoria, Dels Villa, Molik Salamada, Honey Love, Rosalito Blog, Jocelyn Custodio, Seisha Love, Rosel Badong, SSC TV of Korea, Francis Laiko, The Galgos Blog, Shim Lee, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere, but still not punta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. So, kumusta po sa ating lahat? Kumusta yung day natin? Sana everything went well, lalong-lalo na sa mga estudyante. Yung iba dyan, excited na. Kasi uh, malapit na yung graduation. No? At sana, we will be having bonding with our family again together. No? Kasi importante talaga ang pamilya, guys. No? Sa mga estudyante dyan, shout out. No? Let's spend our time with our family. I guess it's not proceed to our devotion. Let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. This is about the man with leprosy. Still, guys, I'm using the devotion of the Bible because the word Jesus is so simplified to maintain the talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Luke chapter 5, verse 12 to 16 says, Well, Jesus was one. Well, Jesus was in one of the town, a man came along who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifice that Moses commanded for your cleansing as at this time money to them. Yet the news about him spread all the more. So the crowd of people came to hear him and to be healed of their sickness. But Jesus up and withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Hi right, guys, let's now pray. Father God, many are really longing to be healed because of the illnesses na iniinda ng bawat isa ako, God. We pray as what that leprous man begged sa iyo, oh God, to heal him. And that you have honored the request of that man. Yes, Lord, you have healed that man and commanded him not to tell anyone about it. But all the more, now spread the news and that it leads you to go to a lonely place and pray. Hindi sa natakot ka dahil sinusunod ka ng mga tao but yet you really wanted to be with your Father in Heaven to be in a lonely place to spend time with God. Lord, thank you that in this way we can also go to you in a lonely place Lalong lalo na dito sa devotion na. That we may have focus and listening to your word. And that we would also learn and live with the word you're telling us for this evening. Yes, Lord bless each one and dito ngayon. And even the family they're representing. Bless the works of their hand. That they will become prosperous in order to help the family members and other people around them. Bless each one of us, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Luke chapter 5, verse 12 to 
5 verse 16 and it says, Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Spending Time with God. A river runs through it is normal. Norman McLean's masterful story of two boys growing up in western Montana where their father's a Presbyterian minister. On Sunday morning, Norman and his brother, Paul, went to church where they heard their father preach. One Sunday evening rolled around. There was another service and their father would preach again. But between those two services, they were free to walk the hills and streams with him. While he and won't between services, it was an intentional withdrawing on their father's part to restore his soul and be filled again to overflowing for the evening sermon. Throughout the gospel, Jesus is seen teaching multitudes on hillsides and cities and healing the sick and diseased who were brought to him. All this interaction was in line with the sign of man's mission to seek and to save the lost. But it's also noted that he often withdrew to lonely places. His time there was spent communing with the Father, being renewed and restored to step back once more into his mission. In our faithful effort to serve, it's good for us to remember that Jesus often withdrew. In this practice, for, in this practice was important for Jesus. How much more so for us? May we regularly spend time with our Father who can fill us again to overflowing. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, no, si Jesus Christ nga, God na siya. Dahil sinusunod siya ng mga tao for healing and for preaching. Many people wanted to hear the good news that comes from Him. Kasi God siya, who can preach. But people look at Jesus at this time as a man you know? uh, ma maganda yung words na sinisir ni Lord tago sa puso talaga kasi ito yung mission niya to share uh, the good news to people while people, people are chasing him to hear sa mga teachings niya and healing many times God go to a lonely place to spend time with the Father and to pray. Diba? Maraming beses talaga na he withdraw from the public in order to spend time with his Father. In our case, are we doing that? This 8 o'clock devotional is also a way of going to a lonely place and meditate. Sharing God's word listening to God's word. Guys, I always have my lonely place, spending time with God. Every time I arrive from work, I immediately rest, take a bath, eat, but I don't usually eat my dinner. And then after doing all those things, I will sit down in my bed read the Bible, and pray. Praying for you also. Because as I promise, I always pray for you. So yun yung lonely place ko. Then after the devotional again, nitong devotional natin, I again prayed. Thanking God about your life. Now you came to this devotional in order for us to grow and learn something from God. Yan yung ginagawa. Every time I am free, I just wanted to stay home so I can spend time with God. Sana guys, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Okay guys, let's now proceed to the two question. What comes to mind when you think of a lonely place? Well, for me, a lonely place is being alone with God. No? Uh, and dami nating lonely places. No? Dito sa amin, ang dami. No? Uh, pero the lonely place na sinasabi ko na spend time ako kay Lord is to be in my house. Kasi nasanay na ako na dito ako na mag-spend time kay Lord. No? 
sometimes during evening, hala nila natutulon ako, but yet, uh, it's still my time to pray, even in the afternoon. Second question, when and where can you withdraw to simply spend time with the Father? Every time matapos yung trabaho ko, <clears throat> 5 o'clock, I immediately go home. I do not go elsewhere because I really wanted to go home and spend time with God sa bahay ko. Marami ako mapipray if I am in my house. Kasi I consider my house as my lonely place with God. Uh, maingay man sa labas, but I don't mind the ingay. What's important is I can spend time with God. I guess let's not pray. Thank you for the reminder, Father, of our need for time spent with you. We need your grace and strength to renew our often weary soul. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's look for a place to spend time with God. God bless us all, guys, because I know God surely bless us ten times better. This is again Mr. Witz TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit. Kaya sa muli. Paalam!